Hello everyone and welcome back to my new fly career, Microsoft Flight Sim. We are in Taiwan and I wanted to fly to Hong Kong but I couldn't get a mission direct to Hong Kong. So I'm going to have to deal with an interim mission that goes from RCDI uh, outside of Taipei in this Longtan district uh, going to this island here. Uh, this island, whatever it is. Uh, that island with RCCM on it. And that's inconvenient. It is my first passenger mission in a while. We have three passengers apparently. And yeah, we'll go with that. It's a short flight, but hopefully it'll get us closer to Hong Kong so that I can do a flight to Hong Kong. But this plane can certainly do a flight direct from here uh, to Hong Kong, but apparently they didn't want to offer me one. Uh, just uh, looking through. Uh, it would be a longish flight, so it would pay a lot, but I don't see a Hong Kong flight here. So, that's that. Not paying great, and because of time constraints, I have to fly in the dark. I'm continuing to fly in real time and with real world weather, so it'll be a nighttime flight. So, here we go. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. It keeps adding more payload. I keep setting it to closer to 70, 755 pounds and then it keeps adding more. Uh, maybe I should just uh, use this to add three people. Uh, let's say not hide avatars. No, well, now it's 40. Maybe this is okay. I'll just... Well, there are people. There's four people though. Um... If I put three people though, it's not going to be the right poundage. So I'm just gonna leave four. <laughs> it's gonna be that way. All right, well, let's get this thing started. Uh, let's get the avionics on. Okay, well, I just declare myself in this case. Now this is a very short runway, so that's going to be interesting. Somebody had said that we can show taxiways here. Okay. Can't actually see the runway. But okay, I guess I guess we'll be going up there, but well there's somebody in front of me right there. That's interesting. That's gotta be a person, right? Because they won't have something going on the grass automatically like that. I don't know where that person's going. Anyway. Okay, departing south. Lantang traffic rise Romeo Alpha 412 taking off runway 22 south departure. Is it a problem that I can't actually see the runway? Okay, well I see a stripe. Here we go. It's a very short runway. I might have wanted some of the run-up zone. That's it. Okay, but I I'm off. Barely. Have a safe trip. We hope you enjoyed your stay here. We'll look forward to welcoming you back soon. I'm confused by that statement coming from my dispatcher though. Well, broadly speaking the right direction at least, so it's a convenient runway. It's actually exactly the right direction. Okay, well, dark flight. I guess it's nice to have passengers. There are a lot of flights from here into mainland China, but I decided to avoid that. I don't know what I'd get arrested for, but I'd probably get arrested for something. Hong Kong is safer. Okay, the lowest safe altitude was 6,500. I'm going to 7,000 here. It is nighttime flying. We are not going to take any chances, obviously. Okay, 7,000. There are mountains on this side of Taiwan. can sort of see some in front of me. I guess the city in front of me right now is Changhua. Well, that's the biggest name. It is a Chia 
Chiayi City. I don't know how to say that one even vaguely. But yeah, Changhua. Ah, we're getting closer to full moon again. Full moon is apparently tomorrow. I feel like it should be clearer, sort of. I mean, it should be pretty much full moon right there, but it's not quite looking like that. I can't even see it from in here. Well, nice to see some city lights. We're approaching TCMQ right there. Well, if that's not a city center, uh, the roads are doing something wrong. Oh, it's gotten extra dark now. I think there are clouds in the way. Otherwise, I should still see some sea lights down below me. Should be fun landing at this small island. Technically, the runway is longer than the one I took off from, at least. 2,790 feet, so not really long. Okay, clouds have cleared up now. I can see stuff. Okay, well, I think it's about time to start descending here. Let me see if we can communicate with the island. RCCM. Okay, well. Tower Reyes, Romeo Alpha. 12 miles. Okay, 2972. But uh, that doesn't really comport with the altitude that Skyforce Sim is telling me. Uh, so, that worries me. That worries me a bit. Since it's runway 20, I'll go to 29 here and then make a left turn in. Well, I can see an island there, so the clouds are not going to be in the way. Gotta try and keep it this nice and smooth for the passengers, even though technically it doesn't care about that for passengers as much as certain cargoes. I don't know if doing more passenger missions gets you more money from passenger missions, like you get a better reputation or something. FS passengers back in the day had something like that. Okay. quite see the runway yet. And off goes the autopilot. I hope the airport has lights. Oh, uh, is that it? Well, it doesn't have much by way of lights. Wow. The taxiway has better lights than the runway. That was a harder landing than we like to see, pilot. Well, really... Whoa. Whoa. Taxi to parking and shut down your engine. Whoa. Okay, it says 200 now. Oh, 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 I'm running out of land. Ah. Rhea's 
Definitely not the place I would like to land at night at. Surely you mean using the runway. Uh, oh, there might be another runway next to it. <laughs> I sure didn't see it lit up either. Transporter, you can open the doors and begin the disembarkation. 55 minutes. Transporter from dispatch. Everyone is on the bus. Check that they haven't forgotten anything. Have a nice day. Okay. Well, back to Neofly. Everything is on board. Well, nothing's on board, but... Alright, uh, can we go eventually to Hong Kong now? Not really. It does, really doesn't like Hong Kong, huh? Um, it's got a flight all the way to Vietnam. <laughs> uh, VVPK. That's a long, long distance flight. But to totally overshooting Hong Kong where I wanted to stop off at. Maybe they just don't like the airports in Hong Kong? There are supposed to be airports in Hong Kong. Uh, it's sure not showing them right now here. Hmm. Is this a flaw in Neofly? Is there anything to sell at Hong Kong? Well, fuel. <laughs> fuel is apparently fragile. That's weird. The fuel here is 109, but the price over there is, uh, sorry, 106 here, but it's 719 over there. But it's by 110 pounds, so I can't carry that much. But at least it would be something. The coffee's probably not worth it. So I could probably swing carrying... I mean, I need more fuel, so maybe 12 units of fuel. I, I need more fuel that I can use. And then the cargo fuel is 12 units, or uh, 1,320 pounds. Um, then there's the coffee. That we'd only get 168 per unit. But the units are smaller. They're 40 pounds. But all in all, I think that still makes the fuel more lucrative. We could carry 30 of these, let's say. But that's not as good as carrying 12 of the fuel. Still, we're talking about a profit of 7,200 with the fuel. With this, it'll be more like 5,000. So... I would like an actual job. I think I'll wait a little while and see if it refreshes, but it really doesn't seem to, like, understand that there are airports in... Well, now it shows the airports in Hong Kong. But it doesn't show any jobs there. We've even got Kai Tak there. But yeah, no jobs. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, I'll wait a little while to see if uh, something comes up for Hong Kong. Otherwise, I might have to just do a trade for once. And that would be a first with Neofly. All right, it is now daylight in real time here at RCCM. And I've obviously restarted the sim and restarted Neofly, but Neofly is still not giving me a flight to Hong Kong, which is strange. I mean, that seems like a logical place to be able to go from here. And it's actually right there giving me a flight right past Hong Kong on that map. Uh, just not to Hong Kong. There's no BHHH anywhere here. A little bit unfortunate, really, but... I guess I'll have to go with plan B, which is to get this cargo. So I am going to try to let's see. We can. I've, I've put some extra fuel in, but I don't know if I want to push this too much. I'll try 13 units. I'm going to buy a fuel. And that will require me to land at less than 200 feet per minute. So that's the thing there. 
okay not costing that much but not paying that much at the other end either so all right so i've got that and i should adjust my payload well i thought i had already bought more fuel oh well i'll have to adjust that as well so I've got 40% fuel. Well, you know what? I'm going to adjust this a little bit. I don't want it on the external ones. It's annoying. So I've got 403 pounds of fuel, and then I've set the payload to 1620. Oh, I'm really close to that building. Oh, and we don't want the avatars. Yeah, uh, yeah. Weirdly, this parking spot is right next to this building like this rather tight where was that runway anyway oh maybe i did land on the runway um yeah there is no taxiway i guess i landed on the runway hmm it's just that on the map the taxiway doesn't look like the runway so i landed on the runway as it turns out okay and nearly went off the other end <laughs> Ah, uh, well, anyway, I made it. it. It didn't go off the other end, so good times. So, I guess we can go. For once, I'm going to remember to turn on the strobe light before starting the engine. Oh, these aren't in the right place. And my real ones... My physical ones are in the right place, but those weren't. For whatever reason. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Request taxi depart south or west? West. Ground Reyes Romeo Alpha 412. Request taxi for west Your taxiway. There is no taxiway. The taxiway is a lie. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know much about holding short around here, but... Maybe this will count. Tower Reyes, Romeo Alpha, 412 ready at runway 20 west departure. Okay, we're pretty heavy right now. Here we go. Pretty heavy and it's not got pay well. <laughs> but at least we're going to Hong Kong. Okay, Just to gear up. You, we're not paying you for this one. They're not paying me for this one. They had to rub it in too. Three hundred and five nautical miles left. Well, I'm going to have to get some better fuel economy than I'm getting right at the moment. And it's not like I'm high on the fuel flow right now. Okay, we are leveled out at 6,000 feet. And it's just going to be water until we get there. So one flight in the dark and one flight completely over water. Well, not the greatest sightseeing, but... You know, we've got a job to do. Well, actually, we don't have a job to do this time. We're just carrying random cargo, in this case, fuel. 
Well, we're skirting along the coast of China here. The textures are not great. Uh, clouds are clearly baked into those. And honestly, the lines on those fields, the fields themselves don't look great either. In any case though, we still have 125 nautical miles of this coastline to go. So, about three quarters of an hour. Yeah. And the uh, shadows of clouds also baked into the scenery there. Well, at least I have the Samsung Hong Kong Times, whatever it's called, uh, scenery at Hong Kong. So I also have the Macau scenery too. So at least things should be looking better over there. Yep, the entire coastline has basically been more of the same all the way. Surely we've got some aerial photography of this stuff. This is the coast of China after all, it's not like some weird place inland. Just started to encounter some turbulence here. Possibly because of the mountains, I don't know, but at least they look better. Things are looking better now, right around here. Okay, well, that doesn't look good over there, but we are approaching Hong Kong, but yeah, to our right there that landscape looks horrid. Uh. There's the new territories here. Hong Kong is... Uh, the main part of it's somewhere over there. The airport's a little bit further off from the main portion. I guess we'll fly over the main portion before landing. Well, Hong Kong Island to our left and Kowloon to our right. As the scene reloads. And Kai Tak. The former Kai Tak airport that has been renovated for the purposes of flight sim over here. It would currently be a mild crosswind landing at Kai Tak, as it often was. It's an interesting, tight little city. Well, they've got an animated building there. Okay, but the airport is a little bit of a ways away, so continuing on. Over on Lantau Island. I checked out the goods that we could uh, sell at Kai Tak. There wasn't anything worthwhile, so... Well, there's the airport over there. Okay, we are cleared to land. Okay, careful with the fuel. You greased that landing. I haven't landed yet. Ace. <laughs> Uh, it was a little bit premature with that. Contact ground for your parking assignment, then shut down your engine. Re-Eyes Romeo 
No, oh, well, I guess I'll follow the blue line on that. I swear, Neofly has totally given up on me as far as telling me to stay below 30 knots ground speed on the taxiing. I see a very pink plane over there. I think that's missing textures. I think it's a DC-10 looking at it and seeing the engine sort of in the tail there. So there's a suspicious DC-10 that's lacking textures over there. It's got the checkerboard pink pattern. Alright. You can start your engine now. Uh, well, no. Let's get offloading first. Since we haven't really seen much of interest in the past couple of flights, I think I'll pick up a quick sightseeing tour of uh, Hong Kong Island. So this will head over to Hong Kong Island. We have to carry four people and we'll see this high cliff. So let me pick up that job and let's fly. I think, yep, it should give me enough guidance. So. Well, I didn't start on the ramp, but that's fine. This is meant to be a quickie. Alright, well, that's close enough, even though it's 41 pounds. Up we go. Whoa. Pilot, have a nice flight. Well, we'll have to stay below a thousand feet. Know that they'll be a thousand feet above the location's height. Well, that's a lot of ships in Hong Kong Harbor. Well, it's a bit into the island, our location. So all right, and what among all these is our sightseeing target? Transporter, you are less than two nautical miles from the POI. Stay under 1,000 feet. Okay, this peak over here. Probably. Or is it those two buildings there? I think it's this this structure okay, here. Turn around the POI as close as possible until they are done taking pictures. Okay. It's this thing. Uh that's a little hard from this angle. I hope they like G's. For today. Okay, well, you I guess they're satisfied and everything. There's gotta be a better version of this airport. I, I know there's probably a payware one, but at least somebody must have done a freeware one, right? Well, honestly, it just always looks bad. <laughs> but there's an extra runway. Uh, one freeware mod does add an extra runway to it. No. China Eastern seven two one exit. It'll be fine. 
It's not a go-around situation. I see it on there. I've got plenty of space. I am not an airliner. It's fine. That was a harder landing than we like to see, pilot. He sounded pissed. Going to one, two, one. It's on a say again loop. Okay, well this looks likely. Maybe the other way around would have been better, but... Okay, let's try that. Transporter, you can disembark the tourists. Okay, well they better be disembarking. Just a 19 minute flight there. So that's just to uh, get a little look the at tourists Hong Kong. Seem really happy with their trip today. We have been tagged in a social media post already. Tagged in a social media post and we've got money. That's the important thing. So all right, that will do it for me this time. You are clear to start your engine. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.